cover story, the grocery delivery wars. Families all across the country are signing up to get their produce delivered, and companies like Amazon, Walmart, and Safeway are here to help. So how do these services compare? ABC's Becky Worley teamed up with a family to try all of these services out. Hey, Becky. Good morning, Michael. There are times, as you know, when getting groceries delivered is ideal. But cost, accuracy, and delivery times, they're all factors. And will a professional shopper pick out the good produce like you do? Well, there's only one way to find out. Meet the Enders family of Sunnyvale, California. Both Steve and Joe work. It's challenging to keep the fridge stock for their family. Finish what's in your mouth before you put another mouth So trying out grocery delivery services? Sure. Okay, let's order. We order roughly the same items. Cereal, olive oil, lots of produce. Our three grocery chains. Joe shops at Walmart. They're trying out same-day delivery in six cities with plans to expand. Steve shops from regional chain Safeway. I shop at Amazon Prime now, promising free two-hour delivery for Amazon Prime members who pay their $99 a year subscription fee. The time is exactly 7.45. Check out. We order simultaneously, but the turnaround times for these grocers is wildly different. Amazon's window, 10 a.m. to noon. Walmart can't deliver until 5 p.m. at the earliest, and Safeway's window is 5 to 7 p.m. Amazon delivers within their promised time slot. Delivery cost, free for Prime members. Safeway rolls up in their window at 6.25 p.m. Delivery cost, $7.93. But Walmart misses their promised delivery window by more than 45 minutes, showing up around 6.45. Their standard delivery fee is $9, but they waived it because they were late. We go over our groceries with Beth Mitchum, a food scientist who specializes in produce. Do you get this a lot? How you like them apples? With a few exceptions, like these peppers from Walmart. This one is a little bit squishy. And these bananas from Amazon. Here you have, it's just completely bruised and discolored. Overall, the produce looked good. She gives the Amazon and Safeway produce an A grade and the Walmart produce a B plus. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. But unpacking the bags highlights some omissions. The Amazon order was complete, but both Safeway and Walmart were missing two items. Safeway notified us at delivery and didn't charge us for them, but Walmart didn't tell us until two days later when we reached out to them, but we weren't charged for the items. While we only tried this service once on delivery times alone, our expert says, Walmart and uh, Safeway have a lot to work on if they were trying to compete with Amazon. All the delivery services we tried say they offer full refunds or credit if you're dissatisfied with or don't receive any product. And we experienced that with all three. In fact, Walmart gave us a larger quantity of cereal for the same price, and Safeway didn't charge us for these grapes. Walmart says their late delivery and omissions are not indicative of the overall program, which they say consistently receives rave reviews. So speed, cost, accuracy, and quality. Lots to weigh up for our family. I would probably have gone with Amazon. It was super convenient, and, you know, the produce seemed to be better quality than I had expected. And as for the concept of grocery delivery, would you rather go to the grocery store with your parents for an hour or stay home and do what you want? Stay home and do what we want. I thought so. <laughs> I bet you're thinking after that, yeah, but Amazon Whole Foods is probably most expensive. I mean, hello, their nickname is Whole Paycheck, right? But the price tally was surprising. Uh, while Walmart did have the lowest prices on most of our groceries, Amazon was right in the middle, and it was our regional chain coming in with the highest grocery prices, Michael. Well, you know what, Becky, looking at this, I mean, could this revolutionize grocery shopping? Will we never have to go to the store again? <laughs> Some people might wish that, but I think that browsing the aisles is still serendipitous. You know, oh, I'll put capers in that, and oh, that looks fresh. I think this more or less might replace the midweek shop. Ah, we're out of milk. That kind of shopping. I kind of, the shopping's a little therapeutic to me. Yeah, actually. I like shopping too. I yeah. Well, well, you can always you like, go shopping. Though. You can only steal yeah. a grape if you're in the store. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, goes for the samples. All yeah. right. <laughs> Becky, you heard Sarah's take on it, so she likes to go to the store. I, I, I can't be her lawyer. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boy, it's not stealing if you're shaking and it's free from the stock. Right. I didn't want you to know that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.